what is up you guys? My name is Mr. Fisher. Welcome back to Everglow. We're moving right along with this fantastically, interestingly weird story. I figured why the hell not. So, let's continue on with our amazing story as Glow, our spunky, attractive, uh, foxy girl, and the curator, who just is a complete conundrum wrapped in mystery. And also, God, this fucking audio is loud. It's just a coincidence. Repeat this thousands more. Repeat this thousands more to, uh, more times. After how many cookies will you believe that your life is predetermined? Is it just coincidence that you you're trying to cancel the launch now? Let's say you did it, but then why are you standing in front of me? Is this just an endless loop? Yes. And there is only one way out. Which one? Do it again. Together. I'll help you rewind again. I'm not changing anything. I'm just a litmus test in your experiment. Why be alive or dead? What will change? It seems nothing. You will always have some other glow in the, res in the reserve. It's just going to be different this time. I won't interfere, you'll make your own choice. Curator is taking Glow back to the spaceport by a familiar road. Like last time, she doesn't drop a word the whole way. Only occasionally catches Glow's eye eyes in the rearview mirror. We've arrived. This plan won't work. You'll have to turn off your head and make a decision with your heart. It's not like you've used, used your head a lot before. But if it doesn't work out again, what if everything is really predefined? Glow, it's up to you to decide what to do next. What is failure and what is success? I'll start the temporal engine. It will take some time. Did I hear that right? Glow? Not kindred? Not nobody? And not even lowborn garbage? What we are doing is no longer part of the pre preemption project. The consequences are unpredictable. Punishment is inevitable. I wouldn't do it some for some vixen from the crowd. Is this an attempt to cheer me up? I know that I was chosen by chance. You'll say it to my face in the future. When you play roulette, you are also hoping you're you're also hoping for luck. Betting on zero is a strange move. But I've always been lucky with zero, Glow. Well, how will this help me make the, th the right choice? You're still listening to the reason. It's pointless. It didn't work twice already, or even more. Get on the ship. Maybe that's the deciding factor. Don't get on the ship. I'm starting the temporal engine. Don't pay attention to the siren. Use one of the KOVs to activate the terminal. This will allow you to adjust the duration of the rewind. Damn it, I have no idea where to rewind. I'm having a little trouble here, so you have to th you have time to think. What's going on? That's what should happen in such a situation. Drop your gun now! A series of shots are heard. My heart tell tells me that I wish I hadn't been born at all. <laughs> My heart tells me to send this ship straight to the sun, where it will explode in a beautiful blinding flash. Glow, don't think about the consequences. You'll make the right choice. I know that. You don't know anything about me! Don't you want to influence my decision? Your whole project is a failure, you just put it on me. Just admit it. The operative is seriously wounded, I repeat, wounded. Curator's voice is interrupted by a sound of gunfire. I admit it. We don't have much time. Glow, please. I won't be able to hold any longer. Why can't you just get on the, that cursed ship yourself? Glow. You know what? I decided anyway. To hell with your preemption. To hell with your stupid cookies. Glow enters the KOV into the terminal connector. Departure. 0104-2050 arrival. What do I want? What I've always wanted. To get to the last KLR concert. 0204 2039. 
Attention, the recommended preemption time has been exceeded. Retention, irre irre irreversible degradation of the pilot's body. Attention, high risk of pilot hibernation interruption. Attention, high risk of death of the pilot after withdrawal from hibernation. Attention, MCC con confirm the arrival day. And then let's let everything turn to ashes. Damn, I can't run it without her help. Get your paws off the panel, curator! It's over! Just follow the goddamn protocol! I swear I'll finish you off the- I'll finish you if you move! Max are on the way! Congratulations on your promotion to the second rank! Put the gun down! I repeat, I will be forced to shoot! Launch of the temporal engine has been confirmed by the MCC. Retirement. Three, two, one, launch. Give it or dead. What's going on? Where am I? The entire dashboard is lit red. The usual emergency siren is accompanied by sound alert from faulty nodes. Where did I get myself into this time? Pilot, stop the descent immediately. Confirm. Glow number 5912867298. Standing by. I confirm. Descent. I have I have no idea how to control this ship. I can't stop the descent. Pilot, we will open fire if you don't slow down immediately. I'm not controlling it. The ship is on autopilot. I can't change the course. Confirm. I confirm. We can't let you just fall at that speed. Disable the autopilot or disable the engines. Fuck. Fuck. We'll open fire on you to minimize the damage from falling in a breeze. Confirm immediately. I can't steer and I do not know how to disable autopilot. Pilot glow number 5912867298789. We will send your remains to your homeland. That's all I can do for you. Confirm. You can't. I don't. The cockpit dissolves into a blinding flash. Hi. Rise and shine, Miss Glow. Rise and shine. Where am I? Who are you? It hurts so much. The whole, my whole body, the whole, my whole body is on fire. It's a miracle that you survived, <clears throat> and that no one has hurt your by your escape or escapade. I understand you're not up to talking right now, but you've broken a dozen pretty serious laws and regulations. Since you're conscious, you will have to answer my questions. He takes a black stamped notebook out of his jagged pocket. What happened to my ship? Scrap. Almost destroyed. We sent it to your homeland for examination. We don't have it listed. What? You don't understand. That's really a lot I don't understand right now, Glow. <laughs> for example, who actually pilots the sh piloted the ship? Glow number five nine one two eight six seven two nine eight seven nine Lowborn, currently in an orphanage on another planet. She's fourteen. Who are you, and why did you steal someone else's identity? I understand that this sound will sound strange, but what year is it now? Playing dumb right away. Two thousand thirty-nine. So I did it. What did you do? You aren't you aren't you from law enforcement? I want to report an upcoming crime. <clears throat> no, not just a crime, a terrorist attack. It's not the answer to my question. We still have time, a whole year. We'll fix everything. The investigation loudly hits the notebook and pen <laughs> with a pen and puts it away. That's enough. I see you're not ready to testify. Perhaps the reason is a head injury. I'll put a guard outside the ward. Consider this a temporary detention. Next time, I expect you to cooperate with the investigation. You may not believe me now, but when you do, it'll be too late. Your threats are ridiculous. Goodbye, Glow. A week later, the investigator tried to interrogate Glow again. He didn't believe a single word she said. Not about the upcoming terrorist attack on the Interplanetary Roundtable. Not that she's from distant 2051. A whole year in the custody of the wolves. If I think about it, I'm using... I'm used to wait, to waiting humbly for the inevitable. And weakness. In a foreign land. Damn it. I never got to the last KLR concert. April 3rd, 2040. The terrorist attack. Glow. 
Are you ready to listen to me now? Shut up. The investigation hits the concrete wall a couple centimeters from Glow's muzzle. I don't trust you, even though... Now do you understand what it's like? You could have prevented the disaster back then. Crap. Do you want my opinion? This is a work of, you, of your radicals. You're their accomplice. If I had it my way, I would pers personally strangle you right here. What's stopping you? Command believes that you will be useful. To whom? By what? I'm just a weak, crazy vixen. Is that ship really a time machine? I don't believe it. This is a temporal engine, not a time machine. But if it's true that you've, you're, you've already changed the past, then we made a terrible mistake by sending it to your home, to your kind. It needs to be returned. You'll get it back. Me? Why is it always me? You told me that your research station was attacked in the future in 2050. You also described the ship that chased you after that. This is our ship. I don't believe that such conclusion could be made from my description. Isolation, exhaustion, destruction. This is not a Fox military doctrine. So we've already tried to do it on our own. It failed. What do you want from me? You're being offered a deal. Oh, fucking here we go again! All charges will be dropped. They will soon decide to deport all the foxes. You can't just wait for the decision to take effect. You'll only get out of here with a wolf passport. Or in a body bag. Fine. Another offer, offer that cannot be refused. All you lack is skills and experience. You will undergo accelerated training at the Space Navy. Oh, come on. You'll get the best ship in the universe. You'll return what has always been ours by the right. This is some kind of joke. The reason why you didn't capture the temporal engine in the future is the wrong pilot and why will I succeed? You have an incredible advantage. You, are, you have already experienced these events. That your pursuer clearly didn't have the guts to do his duty. My pursuer was me! I kind of called that when it happened. We'll teach you better than him. You will complete the mission. I agree. What? You can't just... This is my part of the deal. I'll return the time machine to you. But from now on, I won't let you waste a second of my time. Ten years of training and service. Oh my god. Ten years of alienation, hate, and pain. All for one purpose. Ten years after the before pilot this. Oh look, I'm a badass now! Happy 46th birthday. Damn, she looks good! That's awesome! The fastest, the most powerful, the only such ship in the entire wolf fleet. My arbiter of fates. I didn't provide any drawings or diagrams to the engineers, but they made it all seem as I remembered it. It's just a coincidence. There is no coincidence. I can already see your ship on the radar. Now I understand why it was so strange. It was assembled piece by piece ten years ago. Or even more. I had enough time to think about everything that happened. But I can't figure out how in 2039 I ended up orbiting another planet. Even if I just materialize in a cockpit out of nothing. How did the temporal engine end up in exactly what place and at that time? <clears throat> what, pilot it, what pilot is there? Who created it? Or who piloted it there? And who created it? That glow enters the firing range of my weapons. But it's too early. She should lead me to the station. There may be copies of temporal engine or blueprints or prototypes. Foxes have no right to wield such power. Fuck. Don't I consider myself a kindred to foxes anymore? Hell. Chloe, you've certainly aged. But you haven't lost your mind yet. I don't know. Seems like you've been pretty conditioned. Pull yourself together. Now there's more serious problem. My inaction may create a paradox. That glow should wake up on the way to the station at least three times. My command didn't care much about such details. 
The journey to the station takes not three days, but a whole year. Which I had to spend in hibernation. Coma. This means that I could not wait. I could not wake up at April 6, 2050, as Serenity announced to me. She lied to me from the very first words they all do. Was there really such need to maintain this illusion? I could have woken up for the first time in September and wouldn't have, would have, wouldn't have understood anything. It's part of the plan. Use me and throw me away like a litmus test. What will the system accept as an emergency and bring the pilot out of hibernation? Now we will check. Now I will save. Because, uh, I think she tried to contact the pilot, right? Shoot the hull. Auxiliary firing station, minimum power. Shields must withstand. Without letting the ship out of sight, glows destroyer fires a couple shots. Good, the autopilot is, of this bucket didn't really even, even really dodge. So, and what do we have on the scan of vital signs? It worked. Of course, this is more like reanima reanimation, the w reanimation the, than awakening. Without a plug suit, this would be impossible. Now it's clear why I was getting you worse and worse every time. I have been waiting for this day for a long time. I still exist, which means I have avoided the paradox. That glow arrived at the station two weeks ago. I have to launch an attack today. So it was then. Fuck! What will change in this case? I will starve her to death. She will somehow activate rewind to avoid death. She'll end up in the hospital. There's no one w where no one will believe her. Curator, 2050, park, failure, back to 2039. This was supposed to be a second attempt. But everything will s just close in a loop. Even so, I can't back down. My, it's my duty to complete the mission. Capture the temporal engine. Or destroy it and everything that led to its invention. I... I don't want to disappear. Don't want to create a paradox. I don't want everything I've been through to be for nothing. Maybe I rewound time, but I didn't stop its progress. I've aged. The world has changed. I can't go back. Nothing will be the same as before. Curator was right. There is no choice. Everything is predetermined. Main launchers. Full barrage. Again, this is you playing directly into it. You already know what happens. Don't do it. That's what closes the loop. You don't attack the station. It doesn't get under the deal. It doesn't get sent back. It doesn't end up crashing into the thing. And it's pretty simple. <laughs> Missile hits the reactor of the station, piercing it, right, piercing it through. God. Come on, move, Lowborn. Here's another salvo for motivation. New new rockets are coming to the station. That should be enough. I have to give them time to prepare to launch. But I want to hear her one last time. Want to call her to account. Why did she let this all happen? Why did she choose such fate for us? Glow, respond immediately. I know you're already aboard, on board. Lowborn, do you hear me? Answer me. Curses. Seems that Serenity cut off the emergency communication channel. 7014087334334944437. Glow, answer me. I can hear you. 67654181. <laughs> Enough of this idiotic counting. Bring it back to me. The silence. And peace. Well, cuts the comms. That's enough. This is no different from our last meeting. Curses. It sounded so strange to is listen this to. really my voice? Nani the fuck? It's the voice of a miserable weakling. When did you get a voiceover? Clueless about the upcoming struggle. You will not escape my wrath, Glow. I am your judge, jury, and executioner. Who the fuck? You will pay for every second I spend preparing for this exact moment. Castaway traitor, exiled, and forgotten. Is this the future you have prepared for me? 
I will relieve you of the burden of power that you cannot even comprehend. This time, everything will be different. Consider this my farewell glow. Or should I say, a promise to myself. Everglow. <laughs> Congratulations. 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 You can't escape your fate. Is there really no other way out? The success of this operation is not always due to clear adhe adherence to the plan. It's worth finding a place to improvise. Report. Contact not confirmed. I'm sorry for being blunt. But do we really think she would just show up in the cockpit? Out of thin air? Can't answer that. Curses. The outcome will significantly com complicate the course of the mission. But the object didn't come back. Glow has not returned. This means that the mission... It will continue according to the approved scenario. If she didn't come back, then something's prevented her. Or someone. Perhaps even, an S even a SIU operative who doubted the success of the preemption project. Of course, I understand. No, you don't, puppy. Glow number 59128672987979 has to make her flight. Otherwise, we can't create a paradox ourselves. Everything will become clear only in 2052. We need to get a report from the station after the launch of a temporal engine that was successful. If we get a report at all. Until then, I order you to make even every effort to get Glow into this ship. Hunt traitor down. At any cost. Yes. Now we will check. Contact the pilot. Even if it works, will I tell her? Help, Glow, it's me. Don't be afraid, everything will be fine. But it, will, it will be another lie. Nothing will be good anymore. To hell with it, I can try. Pilot, can you hear me? Over. Communication check, please confirm. So what do we have on the vital sign scan? Didn't work. Hmm, why did I start changing course so abruptly? Of course, not just like that. Moving away from the source of the signal. Son of a, what's wrong with you? Such maneuvers create a dangerous overload for, a pi for the pilot. She's already having a hard time being unconscious. Main launchers, precise pinpoint. Now. Got it. Hit the engine, the speed dropped. According to the vital sign scan, I woke her up. No, it can't be. It was supposed to happen on the way back. It's just a memory glow. Just a dream that you, when, that you saw while unwinding a year after the hospital. You will contact her now, and of course, it's just a coincidence, but you will tell her the nap time is over. Strange idea to just try to finish off the engine with a half-dead pilot on board. I lost her ship. More precisely, let her go. Plug suit will put her to sleep after she leaves a dangerous area. She will survive, but now she will not be able to arrive on time. And I still haven't disappeared. How did such actions not lead to a paradox? Curier said that their glow did not wake up at all. The mission was completed according to the plan on time. There was also another glow. Her launch was cancelled. Maybe I got it all wrong. My memory is failing me. I've aged. I've changed. I crossed the line of the ordinary. Thrice. Will you have to do the same? I need to think about the mission. I have to catch up to it with her. Determine the position of the, stash, of the station. No. I can't kill Glow. Not because it will create a paradox. You cannot be judged without guilt. You shouldn't do anything to anyone. It was my decisions that led her to the Arbiter of Fate's pilot's seat. It was me who betrayed my own kind and forgot my homeland by order. It was I who almost sentenced a deceived fox to certain death. 
I realized this when I heard her voice on the radio. The last of her strength, she begged us to be saved from the nightmare, which was created by me ten years ago. Sounds so strange to listen to. Is this really my voice? Motherfucker. After all I went through, just to hear it one more time. Why can't I recognize it? Reminds me of the day we met. She also treated me like a stranger. But she was frightened by my sudden appearance. I have no excuses now. As I'm a stronger, better version of... No, that's not right. I'm not a bleak copy of her. I am what I am. It's time to face it. My name is Eve. It was never Glow. Afterglow. Oh, that's how you break the loop. Yeah, 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 everyone, congratulations. You did it. Broke the loop. Congratulations, you did it. You broke the loop. I knew you'd make it. You saved us both. Thank you. Thank you. Still confused, but all right. Report. Contact confirmed. Have you personally checked it? That's right. Glow number 591286729879 in the flesh. Was the KOV sent from ex examination? Yes, the integrity is fine. But you know that the, that the data... It's not important. Uh, it's not that important at the moment. The preemption project finally paid off. Proceed according to plan. Send, send the double into hibernation. Can I ask a question, curator? Of course. If we put that the glow that came back to sleep and send the other one flying, then who was steering the ship on April 2nd, 2039? Won't we create a paradox? That's enough. I'll give you credit. For a puppy with one mark, you're good. Maybe even too good. Glow number 5912867298789 in 2039 warned of a terrorist attack on April 2nd, 2040. But not her kindreds. Hijacked and practically destroyed the greatest of in inventions of our kind. She told the wolves that the preemption in details to our future enemies. You confirmed contact with Glow number 5912867298789, correct? Well then, answer me. What does the devil look like? Interesting! I'm still very confused, but that was really fucking cool. But that's gonna do it for this episode. That actually literally winds out Everglow. I got all the achievos. Ah, I got the pictures! <laughs> it's the achievements. That's dope. But that was really cool. That was really fun. That was really really interesting oh no I didn't get all the achievements those ones aren't got unlocked oh I think because one of them is the journal I have to start over but that is gonna do it for Everglow you guys thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this series feel free to hit a thumbs up button on them um, what else should I play visual novel wise because I mean I I want to check out the other one made by the same group not the same group but uh someone in the group I can't remember what it's called I apologize, I'll have to look through the comments and find it, but I want to try it out, but I just don't have the money for it at the moment. But that is going to do it for Everglow. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, I will see you in the next one. Hey, and peace. What up?